Hmm. Okay, so tank so far. Really nice model. Your fix King Tiger. Back end. Had the filbert glue to get it to join together. Not too sure if it was a model issue or the paint that, you know, can sometimes pull on the plastic when it hardens. I don't think it would pull it that far apart. So it must be the way the model was made. Okay, and heating up the solder now because uh, it's very clean looking for a, you know, for the gaming table so I'm going to add uh, a hole with some damage to the side skirts and I find the best way to do it is a solder now or a hot knife A wee bit of black and stuff <coughs> at the end of the painting process. To show where the rounds have hit. Make sure you turn your uh, soldering iron off or whatever you're using to make the marks. I've done a couple of bullet holes actually. Artillery hits in the front. Maybe on the side. It's just a thick bit. bit. We add a wee bit of uh, stipple. Now the red brown.
wee bit too much red in it. Sometimes I get carried away and overburden the model with paint. I'll let that dry up, then I'll hit it where we bit of varnish, matte varnish. And then uh, add my tones, dark tones, light tones, then another varnish. And then I'll get the base painted up. And get it added to the base. Just using this, uh, what's left of the paint here, the coat, the base, which will be hitting with uh, probably a deep brown for mud. And then grass, green grass color. Okay, that's enough for now. Thanks for watching.